we have an instance of non-sterility. Okay, it's time for another exercise. And this time I'd like you to have a think about if you're conducting an investigation from out of limits or a microbial data deviation, what are the key things that are going to structure your investigation? What are the types of questions you're going to want to ask? What are the sort of things you're going to want to have a look at in relation to the process? So aim to take about 10 minutes. If you need a bit longer, that's fine. When, 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 you've, when you've exhausted the discussion, share your ideas through a spokesperson from each group feeding back, and then I'll be back with my thoughts. So if the person playing the video can now pause it, and I'll be back with you in a few minutes' time. Welcome back. So, a bit of a difficult one because it's uh, slightly abstract, but hopefully you've come up with some thoughtful and interesting ideas. So, these are some of the things I thought of. First of all, is the actual result valid? Was the correct amount of sample taken? Were the sample dilutions correctly performed? Were other reagents and solutions correctly prepared and used? Are the calculations correct? Were the correct volumetric flasks and pipette used? All key things relating to the validity of the sample. Okay, maybe there's been a laboratory error. Okay, this could be a calculation error. Has the supervisor checked the calculation? Was there a power outage whilst the test was being performed? Did the equipment fail? Was there a direct testing error? such as what's the wrong amount of sample transferred, what's the wrong dilution done. Have the wrong parameters been used, for example, if you're using a spectrophotometer, maybe like the LAU test, had someone adjusted the baseline or the optical density setting. So there's various things to weigh up here. Okay, so, what I've tried to do with this run through is pick on some of the key topics that appear in this module. I haven't covered everything, it's just been designed to give you a taster of some of the important things, to give you an idea of some of the things you'd like to come across. You don't have to really worry about the then difficult terms or remembering anything. This is designed to be an introductory one. There are copious notes to help you, and there's the support literature that I recommend. So, at the end of studying that, there's an assignment, which is an essay, and then follows, unfortunately, there's an exam. So, the exam is two hours long. The structure of the exam is essay questions. Okay. There, are, there will be five essay questions pitched, and you have to answer three of them. So, there is an element of choice. Write an essay style. The aim is to mix theory with practice. Okay, so that's the exam. There are some uh, features of a uh, good exam technique that are worth uh, bearing in mind. So, with any of these essay questions, it's advisable to plan your answer for 10 minutes then write for about 25 minutes and then go back and spend five minutes checking your answer because you may have missed something or something may be unclear. But that's the general thing that I would advise for you when you're sitting at uh, an exam where it has essays. Okay, so to wrap this session up, I'd like to apologise again for not being able to be with you today but uh, that's due to work restrictions that have been placed on me. Um, but I will be around for one-to-one -one workshops, and that'll be an opportunity for you to run through anything on the course that you found difficult, or if you yet to take the module, anything you're worried about, if this is your first time of restarting study, or if you're not uh, a microbiologist by background, or less familiar with pharmaceutical microbiology, there's an opportunity. Um, if you're not able to stay on for the one-to-ones or um, if you have any other questions that come to mind, then these are my contact details. So this is my work email address. 
This is my home email address. It's often a good idea to use both when emailing me. And then there is a reminder of the Pharmaceutical Microbiology Resources website, which has a number of postings, some of which would be relevant to the course, or for the assignment, or for the exam, particularly the latest regulations and the latest discoveries. And there's the address there. I'd like to give you a moment to have a look at that. Okay, it just remains for me to say uh, goodbye and good luck with your studies and uh, contact me when you have questions and hopefully I'll be seeing you, most of you um, at a later time. So, goodbye and enjoy the rest of the summer school.